Morning, everybody. It is uh, November 7th, uh, Sunday. We went back an hour here. I don't, and not every part of the country uh, does it, I, I don't think, but uh, we did. So instead of 11.30, it is now 10.30 in the morning. I got a little while, then I have to head off to the Canyon Club for load-in and sound check for our third Southern California show with the immediate family tonight. We had a great time at the Libero Theater in Santa Barbara yesterday. Um, saw a bunch of friends there. The place was apparently full. I mean, that's, that's great. We got uh, two sold-out shows in a row, which is wonderful. And it's just great to be playing live for people again. We're having so much fun. And then the end of next week, uh, we head off to the East Coast and get ready for about a 12-day run back there. Uh, just tired today because it was it's a long drive to Santa Barbara and uh, driving up there during the day doing the show and then driving back home last night um, and then heading almost like halfway back up there again I'm just a, a little toasty today um, but excited I mean that'll end the minute uh, we I, I strap on the base and look around and see my brothers and we will rock the house. Um, and uh, the Canyon Club is a fun room to play, so I'm looking forward to that. Um, I'm going to grab a quick bit of music here and then get, get off and running with what i got to do. Um, the artist I'm going to visit today um, is an English artist who, uh, back in the 70s and off and on, and I think it to this day continues to be a member of the, uh, the English group The Strobs, and uh, his name is Dave Lambert, and we did an album called Framed back in 1979. I've got my notes over here. I'm glancing over. Uh, it was interesting. This was kind of the period, um, vibe-wise, when I was working with Billy Thorpe. And um, it was, and this album, like Billy's album, was produced by Spencer Proffer and recorded at Pasha Recording Studio, which was Spencer's studio down in Hollywood and engineered by Larry Brown, which he did both albums. Um, and it was uh, it was really fun. There's a, a lot of things vibe-wise. The thing that I think I enjoyed so much about this project was um, I shared bass duties on this album. Uh, I did a bunch of tracks, and John Entwistle did a couple of tracks on the album. And John and I got to hang out um, in, in the studio together. And it, this was, I've talked about this in, in the past. Uh, it was a, a funny situation. I was using um, my Frankenstein bass on it. On one of these tracks, I also used a uh, piccolo bass, a Carl Thompson piccolo bass. But um, it was funny because uh, we tr uh, I tried John's bass and John tried Frankenstein. Neither of us could play the other's bass. Um, my action sits pretty high because I came to bass from string bass. So I was used to a fairly high action. And John's action is incredibly low, where like so much of what he d did is like almost like tapping on it. So he, he, so he, like he tried to play my bass and could not get a sound out of it. It was like hurting his fingers. And I tried playing his, and I couldn't get a sound out of it except a bunch of noise, clicking noise. And we both looked at each other and just laughed. <laughs> this, this, this says a great deal uh, when you're uh, sitting there like that, trying out other people's instruments, and you realize, boy, the variety of uh, options is pretty amazing. But I, I really love John. John, I still consider one of the greatest proponents of, of electric bass I've ever heard. And when I... Uh, hook up with him, hear him live and stuff. He's just mind-blowing musician and, and a sweetheart of a guy. I really liked him. So, um, But um, I'm going to go ahead and, and play a couple of tracks from this Dave Lambert project. I hadn't listened to this in years, and I was just listening, and it's real moody in, in the same kind of way like some of the stuff I did during this period with, with um, Billy Thorpe with Spencer and Larry Brown. They had that same kind of a vibe. Uh, this first song I'm going to play is called Welcome to My Dream. And um, this is um, Dave Lambert's on vocals, myself, uh, the great Denny Sywell on drums uh, from Wings. And we did a lot of projects together, but Denny's a great drummer. Um, Richard Bennett on guitar. Uh, love Richard. 
um, and Tom Hensley on clavinet, and Larry Brown threw in some percussion on this one. But uh, I think, God, uh, I'm trying to remember the last time I saw some of these guys. It'll come to me. Let's just listen to some music right now. So this is Welcome to My Dream, 1979, Dave Lambert. Got that Tom Hensley clavinet. Of stuff and just you know, it just drove hard and it's real indicative of that that period of time the late 70s into the 80s it was really cool and I was just remembering the last time I saw um, Tom Hensley it, it was with Neil Diamond and uh, the last time I, I saw Richard Bennett uh, he was out with Mark Knopfler and uh, so everybody you know gets around it's uh, a bunch of rascals uh, here's a song called so lucky 
And it's exactly the same lineup uh, as we had on that with Dave Lambert, me, Denny Sywell, Richard Bennett, and Tom Hensley, and Larry Brown on percussion. So here we go. Here's a whole other one. So lucky.
Cool. I mean, I just love just kind of the vibey, experimental, you know, stretching it, touching on prog rock, a little of everything in there. Um, here's, this one's great. This is Crystal Virgin. Uh, Virgin. Uh, Dave Lambert, it's vocals and guitar solo and, guitar, and other guitars on it. Myself, Denny Sywell on drums. Again, Richard Bennett and Tom Hensley. Tom Hensley's uh, playing harpsichord and quadra synth on this. And Robbie Buchanan is playing Mellotron. So here we go, Crystal Virgin. This might be the one where I'm doing like the first part of it all with the... Um, uh, piccolo bass, like I did a bunch of that with um, Billy Thorpe also, and then I would double bass parts with uh, with the piccolo bass to make it sound almost like an eight string. So here we go. the piccolo bass with some effect on it. Tom Hensley on harpsichord.
epic, epic songs. I mean, it's just nice long tunes with lots of mood and lots of stuff going on. Here's the last one. This is called Dorian. And again, it's Dave uh, Lambert on vocals, lead and rhythm guitar, Denny Sywell, myself, uh, Richard Bennett, and Tom Hensley. So here we go. Dorian. fades out there's a little bit of a fret buzz at the end that's a whole different vibe from most of the stuff i end up posting i love this period when we get to do songs like this really just 
you know, lots of just cool arranging stuff and and just the band all in the room just playing and locking in together. So that's Dave Lambert, and the album is Framed, and it's from 1979. Um, I'm going to get going here now and uh, get myself ready to uh, I'll upload this and head off to uh, uh, the Canyon Club gig tonight. Look forward to it. Um, I just want to thank everybody who turned out last night um, and that we met uh before the show, got a nice bit of a hang, had uh, got sold some books, which I was thrilled about. People were really tickled to death when they started looking through it, going, oh my God, I gotta have this. So it was really cool. And, uh, uh, and again, I'm going to thank the people who don't get weekends like we get, um, who are just working their, their butts off in hospitals, especially trying to um, keep people afloat, alive during this horrid period. Uh, it was good last night when we arrived, we had to show our COVID card, um, uh, just to show that we've had um, our, our vaccinations and they took our temperature and everything. I am so glad when I see a place, you know, doing what I consider the right thing, keeping the people safe, because they were packed in tight. It was a, you know, a full house and you don't want to see anybody leaving there getting sick. So uh, I'm sure it's going to be a similar situation tonight at the uh, coach house. Um, so, um, you know, fingers are crossed for everybody that, that attends the concert. Um, and so that's it. So I'm going to get going and uh, got a long day ahead and just happy to visit. And I'll be back tomorrow. So just take good care and uh, I'll talk to you later. Okay, bye bye.